the showcase, baby. The showcase, righteous minds, righteous minds, it's your time to shine, to shine, to shine. The showcase, righteous minds, righteous minds, it's your time, your time to shine, to shine, to shine, to shine. The showcase. Greetings. Welcome to another episode of The Showcase. Today we have renowned artist Dawood Kringle. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How you feeling? Well, alaikum assalam. Pleasure to be here. Oh, Thank you for having, having me. You. Yes. It's a, it's a great, uh, great day when we have someone as fine as yourself on the show. Um, for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself. Well, um, I'm a musician, a composer, um, band leader, um, and I uh, uh, produce my own CDs, and I'm also uh, an author. Okay. Um, I, last year, uh, I worked out a deal with a publishing company called Layla Publications, and uh, produced, a, a, released a rather a, a, a Sufi science fiction novel. Okay. And uh, so between that and uh, my music, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing. In fact, if you don't mind, uh, this is oh. a copy of my book. And um, it's available uh, through LaylaPublications.com. It's also available on Amazon.com and uh, BarnesandNoble.com. It's an interesting story. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think so. Okay. So the music that you do. We have a few clips we're going to show people in a little bit, but explain to us, for those who are new to watching you, um, the science behind uh, your, your music. Well, I, um, I call what I do um, uh, world jazz, or um, I suppose uh, world jazz electronica. Uh, basically, uh, despite the fact that it is at times necessary to label and categorize the music that I do. I draw from all different uh, disciplines. I've had training in uh, jazz, in uh, Indian classical music, and uh, I've played all kinds of music. I've uh, uh, composed uh, orchestral music. I've uh, uh, done electronic music. Um, and I've also composed for film, theater, uh, dance performances. In fact, one of the projects I'm working on is, uh, is an upcoming uh, rock opera called uh, A Thousand and One Nights. And uh, that's uh, going to be uh, showing in Manhattan in the last two uh, weeks of, uh, of uh, August. So you might want to keep an eye out for that. Um, but basically, my philosophy on music is that uh, that for my for my own part I don't really see things in terms of styles or genres. I, I tried to look beyond that, uh, where I uh, I start thinking more in terms of the, the 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 psychoactive effects of music. Like um, one of my uh, one of the people who's influenced my music. And a lot of people are surprised when I say this. Is uh, Bruce Lee, okay. and he was not a musician, uh, or if he was, he you know he didn't he didn't do, mm -hmm. uh, say anything about it. But uh, his, the style that he developed of martial arts, Jeet Kune Do, mm -hmm. it was a style of no style. In other words, it was not confined to any one philosophy or any one school of thought. It borrowed from everything. 
and united it all under one roof. And uh, this, this is what I'm attempting to do with my music. And um, I've had to uh, do some, some interesting things with, uh, uh, you know, with how I uh, do things, like uh, mainly uh, with my uh, group, I play the, uh, the Indian sitar. Uh, guitar was my first instrument. I started playing that when I was 10, and uh, um, within uh, two days of the, or three days of this, uh, re of uh, me being here recording this with you, I'm going to be 53, so do the math. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> in any case, I, uh, I got interested in the Indian sitar when I was 18 years old, okay. and um, I, uh, over the years, I did some modifications both with the traditional playing technique of the instrument and with the instrument itself, I, uh, including uh, adding electronics to it. Uh, when you play the clip for the audience, uh, you'll hear sounds coming out of the instrument that uh, uh, really have no business being there, and that's, you know, that's, what, that's one of the things that I did. And uh, so I, I combine the, uh, the best of, of both worlds, the best of the acoustic and the electronic, the best of, uh, of the East and the West, the best of the modern and ancient, and try to uh, create something that's greater than the sum of its parts. Okay. Um, so you do have a CD out. I have uh, a CD out. Uh, my last CD that I released, it's called Renegade Sufi which is also the name of the group you, uh, and the name of the website, renegadesufi.com. And uh, that's still available. It's uh, available mainly at my shows because of uh, uh, the uh, economics of the whole thing. But uh, uh, it's also available on cdbaby.com and uh, through iTunes and everything. And I've um, really, since then I've released uh, some EPs and uh, some singles online and I've uh, recently, uh, I recently uh, uh, took stock of all of the music that I have either recorded since that time uh, that's in various stages of completion and the compositions that I have and because I, I've recently found a folder at home that was about that thick of compositions and some of them I have no recollection of having written down okay. but uh, I've got enough material for about five CDs and I'm constantly writing stuff uh, new stuff and uh, working on new recordings a lot of my performances that I do especially my solo performances um, I improvise them um, so that's always something that's new. And uh, one of the things that uh, your viewing audience can uh, look forward to, hopefully, in, inshallah, in the near future, is that I uh, will be uh, doing a lot of uh, webcast performances that uh, you can you know, s dial up online and then, uh, and then sit and uh, listen to the, in the comfort of your home or with your uh, mobile device and uh, uh, check it out that way. Okay. And, that, and that's wonderful, you know. Um, now, one question <coughs> I would like to ask. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, is growing up, what influenced you to, uh, what brought you to Islam to practice the... Ah, Deen al-Islam. Deen al-Islam. Well, to make a very long story short, um, throughout my life, I was interested in uh, different religions and uh, uh, different systems of mysticism, different philosophical systems, um, and I'd uh, done, you know, I'd done my homework. Uh, you know, I'd um, read, I'd read the Bhagavad Gita, um, the parts of the sutras, which are the Buddhist scriptures, the Tao Te Ching. I know the Bible really well, and um, uh, almost uh, about 22 years ago, I was uh, introduced to the uh, Quran, an English translation of the Quran, and uh, I thought to myself, well, I better look into this. I missed this before, and so I bought a copy of uh, English translation, and I uh, 
I uh, read it, and but during this time, it took me two years to get from cover to cover. Okay. For it. Now I go through the whole thing every Ramadan, but uh, um, during the two years, um, I was going through some difficulties in my business and in my personal life, and <clears throat> it seemed like every time I would open up the book and read from where I left off, it seemed to be metaphorically describing the situation that I was in, giving an explanation for what's really happening, mm -hmm. the reasons behind the reasons, and offering a solution. And every time I acted on that solution, it worked out in my favor. And this just kept happening over and over and over again. I couldn't, I, I couldn't explain it. I couldn't figure out what, what, what it was about. And uh, I'd re had these other scriptures to compare it to, and there was just simply nothing to compare to the Quran. Mm -hmm. And um, finally, I, um, one day after I'd read it, the, through the whole thing, and uh, I was in the vicinity of the mosque on 96th Street in Manhattan, oh, yes. and I'd never been in a mosque, never spoke to any Muslims during this time, and uh, I went in there. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what was going on at all, and I got into a conversation with the imam over there, and he, he and I talked. I asked him a few questions, and then he asked me how I got interested in Islam, and I told him about what I told you, and uh, I also told him some things about you know my own jahiliya, which of course is a, a subject for my probably for my autobiography, mm -hmm. which you will all have to wait until I get time to write that. <laughs> I'll call it in case you're interested. <laughs> but uh, he listened very patiently to everything that I had to say, and. Um, he said to me, it's very obvious to me that Allah loves you. And I went home and I thought about it and I went back there the next day and I said, I want to be a Muslim. And that was 20 years ago. And uh, since then, uh, it's, it's been uh, the most remarkable experience of my life. And uh, it's, never, um, it's never stopped revealing new things and new truths. Uh, it hasn't always been easy and uh, yet it's uh, I, I can't imagine uh, not living as a Muslim and not living through that that method of Islam because one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that the word Islam is a verb. Mm. It describes an action it's something that you do. It's, it's unlike Christianity. This, uh, the, the word itself means the teachings of uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Buddhism uh, describes the teachings of Gautama Buddha. Uh, Hinduism uh, comes from, it actually describes uh, the people indigenous to the Indus Valley of northern India. Yet Islam is, a, is something that you do. And as a result, it's something that you are, a state of being. And um, at this point, uh, I, like I said, I can't imagine uh, approaching life uh, in any other way. And, uh, I like to tell non-Muslims that one, one of the many ways you can look at it is that it's a, a system of uh, yoga for the body, mind, and soul that you are constantly doing. That you are con you never stop doing, okay. and um, it aligns your being with the with the will and the being of the supreme being, so that it's uh, something that's uh, both uh, uh, universal and at the same time intensely personal. And um, that's how this that's the uh, situation as it has been for me. And I also have been. Uh, honored to have been for the last uh, I think 17 years doing doing uh, volunteer work as an Islamic minister for the New York City Department of Corrections. Okay. I've been giving uh, khutbahs, uh, sermons for Friday services at uh, the tombs in Rikers Island and uh, I've been doing that for a very long time. Okay. That's been a rewarding experience. 
sometimes a little uh, difficult, <laughs> but uh, that's all right. I love all the brothers there. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, as we begin <coughs> uh, to uh, wrap this up, we're going to show clips for everybody to view. Mm -hmm. um, Renegade Sufi is is um, any other albums on the on the deck to be released or any other projects you have in mind? Well, I'm uh, planning, inshallah, I'm planning two CD releases this year. One will be uh, with uh, with my uh, with my group Renegade Sufi, and um, by the way, uh, our my the the regular bass player in my group in my group uh holly cordero recently had a baby actually just yesterday so uh she's not going to be available for a little while but uh, we'll get her back in the stage and in the studio uh pretty soon and um in the meantime i i'm planning that as a, a group recording and um i'm also planning a, a solo cd uh that um uh, will be you know, pretty much me overdubbing all of my stuff in my home studio. Okay. Maybe a few guests uh, will happen. Uh, will uh, will be uh, stopping by and making some contributions. And um, in the meantime, as I said, I'll be uh, I'll be keeping. You know, I'll be starting up with the uh, webcasting things. And um, I'm also experimenting with producing my own. Uh, um, music videos so far low budget things because uh, let's face it i'm uh working on a limited budget but uh there are a couple of other things in line and i have i also have a um the second weekend of uh uh june i have a brief tour in the uh uh baltimore philadelphia area and uh inshallah if everything goes uh, according to plan i'll have a tour of uh uh, in uh, London, Manchester, and Bristol, and England uh, for uh, September. Okay. And uh, this will also be uh, uh, coinciding with some the efforts with uh, Layla Publications, uh, doing some combination uh, uh, book release events. Uh, again, another shameless pub uh, plug for my book and uh, music events book and lit uh, music and literature okay and uh, as I said there's also the the dance theater thing that I'm doing in August with uh, for the thousand and one nights production and uh, gee I, 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 there's, there's no limit okay well for our viewers who want to contact you or follow you uh, how can they do so well you can look up Dawood Kringle or Renegade Sufi on uh, Facebook um, you can look at my website, renegadesufi.com, or you can contact me at renegadesufi at gmail.com. And uh, that's a real good way of, uh, of getting in touch with me. And uh, you send me an email and I'll uh, get right back to you. And uh, either uh, I'll put you either on my uh, uh, emailing list or um, if you have a project in mind, uh, maybe a house concert. I'm up for that, and uh, you know, the, there's there's no limit. The sky's the limit. You know? All right, well, uh, brother Kringle, we appreciate your time and efforts of coming down to the show. Oh, I appreciate being here. Thank you for having me. No problem. All right. All right. Sound like a well, like salam. Well, this has been another edition of the showcase. Um, stick around. We're gonna come to some live recordings, and we we'll see you next episode.
you come <clears throat> from? Guatemala. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you came over here as a child or an adult? No, nah, an adult. I came here like uh, around ten years ago. You know. So. Okay. Yeah. And so that means you had to learn English. Yeah. Um, how did you do? Quick. That? Yeah. <laughs> Did you, yeah. did you have to go to school for that or you... you no, I learned, I learned on my own, you know, like that. I don't, I don't like to lie, I don't like to say, like, oh, I don't like to hire things and stuff like that, you know, like, I, I just learn it the way it is, you know, like, talking to people, like, my work, talking to everybody, like, asking about how you call these and stuff like that, you know, okay. like, that's how I learned it. I never took a class because I don't have a chance, you know, because I got to work, pay the rent and all that stuff because yes, my family, you know, is not here, you know, I came okay. here, you know. Um, the thing is, um, it was a little hard when I started learning the English because it was not a school and like I got a lot of stuff, a lot of times like people laugh the way I spell it, but you know, like right now I think I'll, uh, I'll do it a little better, you know. Okay. South Central Los Angeles. I was born and raised there for the first 15 years of my life. And then I moved out to um, Atlanta, Georgia when I was 15. And I've been in Atlanta ever since. And I also uh, live in the Dominican Republic. I pretty much live in both now, but uh, it was LA to Atlanta to later on the last four years, Dominican Republic. So. Um, I know all three of those places very well. Um, all three are home to me. Uh, Atlanta being my primary home, but Dominican Republic as well. Um, about five and I'm on, but my lights is on. I'm getting one on one time, but I'm staying in my zone. The last third of the night, where I read and recite. Trying to get my blessings in, but for the first pink light, and that's right to me, but to many that's odd. But that's the time I was taught to show devotion to God. So I'm up in the way, uh, sitting in the chair, uh, practicing the storm, trying to master every prayer. My kids say, uh, as I prepare to teach them to, cause that's not fair. You see, the way to be is gotta be to have a strong philosophy on how to balance up family business and your property. But obviously, if we all had the same philosophy, it wouldn't be no need for teaching with reverse psychology. I like to get it straight, you know, the open door policy. I'm with the last prophet and I give no apology, cause I've been with some my whole life. Paradise for life. By being with some of my home.